Hi everyone, let's see a first concept. Let A, B, C be a right angle triangle, right angle dead B. Okay, as A, B is perpendicular, let this length be P and uh, let this length be B and this is hypotenuse, let this complete length be H. Okay, see if I draw a perpendicular from B to the hypotenuse. So, let this is a perpendicular at this point be some D. Okay, so then let us assume AD length is some x, uh, DC length is some y and this perpendicular distance length be z. Okay? Let us see what are the results will come. Now, if you observe the triangle ABC, this is a right angle triangle, right? If one angle is theta, so automatically the other angle is 90 minus theta, right? Okay. Now, observe the BDC triangle, this is also right angle triangle. In this one angle is theta, so automatically the other angle is 90 minus theta. Okay. Now, observe this ADB triangle. This is also right angle triangle, right angle at B. So, one angle is 90 minus theta. So, other angle is theta. Now, if you observe the triangles ABC, ADB and BDC, the angles in three triangles is equal. So, by double A property angle angle or triple A property angle angle property, triangle ABC is similar to the triangle C A B 90 minus theta to 90 degrees. So, similarly 90 minus theta to 90 degrees this side. So, A D B similar to the triangle 90 minus to 90 degrees B D C. Okay? We got three similar triangles. Now, let us take individual. Now, from these two triangles, from triangle A B C similar to the triangle A D B. Let us see the results. We know that when two triangles are similar triangles, their corresponding ratios equal, right? Say corresponding sides ratios are equal. So, A B length how much? P divided by A D length how much? X equals B C. B C length how much here? B divided by D B length. Uh, D B length is Z here. Z equals now A C. A C how much? H divided by A B. How much A B length is P here. So, we know that when two triangles are similar triangles, their lengths corresponding ratios are equal. Okay? Now, if you observe the first ratio and third ratio here, from these two ratios, we get P square equals H x. So, we got square of the perpendicular equals hypotenuse multiplied with x. Okay? Now, from triangle A, B, C similar to the triangle B, D, C, these two triangles, okay? these two triangles, A, B length how much? Here we wrote right, P divided by B, D. B, D how much? Z equals B, C. Here we wrote B divided by D, C. D, C how much here? Y equals A, C length H divided by B, C length. B, C length is B. Now, if you observe the second ratio and third ratio, here we got B square equals H y, which means length of the base whole square equals hypotenuse multiplied by y. Okay? Remember these two formulas. From these two formulas, we can get ratio of x and y, right? See, from these two, we get x ratio y as P square ratio b square. Okay? Remember this result also. Now, we left with these two similar triangles, right? We all, let us see what are the results will come. From A, D, B similar to triangle B, T, C. Let us see. A, D means here we wrote x divided by B, D. Here we wrote z equals D, B. Here we wrote z divided by B, C, D, C. Here we wrote y and from A B, here we wrote P and from B C, here we wrote B. See, now from first two ratios, we get Z square equals X Y. So, the length of the perpendicular drawn from B to do length is Z square equals product of the X Y. Now, from these three results, first result, second result and third result, 
from these three result we get 1 by z square equals 1 by p square plus 1 by b square this is important remember this result so when a perpendicular drawn from b to the hypotenuse theta these are the results you need to remember okay let's see our next concept now in algebra we have formula which is a square plus b square plus c square minus of ab plus bc plus ac this complete value becomes equals to 1 by 2 times of a minus b whole square plus b minus c whole square plus c minus a whole square okay now see here if they given a condition like if a square plus b square plus c square equals ab plus bc plus ac okay if they given this condition let's see the result here if they given this condition this value will become zero if this value will become zero this value will also become zero see here here we have a square here we have a square here we have a square means square means we got a positive values right so when three positive square sum you are getting zero this happens only when individual value is zero okay when individual value becomes zero here we get a minus b is zero b minus c is zero and c minus a is zero okay so from this we get a equals b equals c relation so remember this result okay in examination if they give in condition a square plus b square equals ab plus bc plus ac or a square plus b square plus c square minus of ab plus bc plus ac equals 0 either this condition remember this result a equals b equals to c c or else if they given in exam this part is becomes zero also a equals b equals to c okay now see the another formula a cube plus b cube plus c cube minus 3 abc equals a plus b plus c multiplied with this part 1 by 2 times of a minus b whole square plus b minus c whole square plus c minus a whole square okay if here if they given a condition like a square plus sorry a cube plus b cube plus c cube equals 3 abc or like this condition a cube plus b cube plus c cube minus 3 abc is zero okay if they given this condition let's see the results now if they given this conditions this part will become zero okay when this part will become zero this complete part becomes zero when this complete part becomes zero we'll get two cases case number 1 is either a plus b plus c is zero either a plus b plus c is zero or this part becomes zero case number 2 when this part becomes zero just now we saw the result is a equals b equals c a equals b equals c now when will this condition is used when will this condition is used see for example if they given a comma b comma c are real numbers okay if they given like this a comma b comma c are real numbers then both the conditions might arise or else if they given like positive real numbers then this a positive real numbers three positive real numbers sum will never becomes zero so this condition arises at this point means when they given a b c are positive real numbers or if they given like a b c are natural numbers okay when they given natural numbers also you have to take this condition only a equals b equals to c so this will not happen when a b c are natural numbers right so this is the concept let's see our next concept now let's say the ratio is in this format x by y equals a by b i can write this ratio as like this right x plus y by y equals a plus b by b so this format is nothing but compound indo okay see again i can write this format as x minus y by y equals a minus b by b which is nothing but dividend of so i can also write this format as x plus y by x minus y which is equals to a plus b by a minus b which is nothing but both compound indo and dividend okay let's say for example if the question is in this format like x plus y by x minus y equals p by q so i want x is to y ratio so directly i can do compound indo and dividend for this ratio right see 
I can write directly x by y equals p plus q by p minus q. Okay. I will give one more example. See, for example, there is a boat here. It has to cover a distance, a particular distance. Let us say in upstream, it covered this complete distance, let us say in 3 hours. Okay. The same boat covered the same distance downstream, let us say in 2 hours only. If they ask us to find speed of the boat to the speed of the stream, how much? See here, here we have downstream, here we have upstream. Okay. Time ratio we have which is downstream is 2 hours, upstream is 3 hours. As here distance is same, from the formula speed equals distance by time, if distance is same, we know that speed is inversely proportional to time, right? If time ratio is 2 is to 3, speed ratio how much? 3 is to 2. Okay. So, downstream speed by upstream speed ratio I got 3 by 2, but I know downstream is nothing but boat speed plus stream speed divided by upstream speed is nothing but boat speed minus stream speed which is the ratio I got 3 by 2. See this format here, it is in the same format of this for, sorry this question format right. See x plus y by x minus v equals to p by q b plus s by b minus by 3 is 2. So, if I want directly boat speed to the ratio stream speed directly I can do 3 plus 2 by 3 minus 2 right. So, our answer is 5 is to 1 are the answer. Okay. Let us see our next concept. Now, let us say if they have given the equations of two lines like a 1 x plus b 1 y plus c 1 is 0 and a 2 x plus b 2 y plus c 2 is 0. So, if they say these two lines are parallel lines, okay. if they say these two are parallel lines, the condition for parallel lines is a 1 by a 2 equals b 1 by b 2 not equals to c 1 by c 2. Okay. Remember this condition for parallel lines and number of solutions for a parallel lines is 0. Remember this number of solutions for a parallel lines is 0. Now, if they say these two lines are coincident lines, okay. if they say these two lines are coincident lines, then the condition is a 1 by a 2 equals b 1 by b 2 equals c 1 by c 2. Okay. When they say two lines are coincident lines, the condition is this one and the number of solutions in a coincident lines is infinite. Okay. There are will be infinite solutions for the coincident lines. Now, if they say there are intersecting lines, let us say these two are intersecting lines, then the condition is a 1 by a 2 not equals to b 1 by b 2. So, this is the condition for when the lines are intersecting and when the lines are intersecting there will be one solution. Okay. Remember this parallel lines are nothing but like this and uh, coincident lines are one upon another and uh, intersecting lines are like this. Okay. Now, let us see the condition for perpendicular lines. Okay. When they say these two lines are perpendicular, let us see the condition. Before seeing the condition, first you need to know how to find the slope. Let us say for example, A x plus B y plus C is a line equation. The slope here m equals minus of coefficient of x which is a divided by coefficient of y which is b. Okay. This is the slope of this equation. Similarly, slope of this line equation is m1 equals minus a1y p1. Let us say slope of this equation is m2 equals minus a2 by b2. Now, the condition for the perpendicular lines is product of the slopes m1 and m2 should be minus 1. Okay. Say so m1 is minus a1 by b1 multiplied with m2 is minus a2 by b2 equals minus 1. From this we get a1 a2 plus b1 b2 equals 0. So, this is the condition for a perpendicular lines. So, remember the conditions. Let us see our next concept. Now, let us say the question is given in this format. See, if a sin theta plus b cos theta equals let us say value is p 
and they ask you to find b sin theta minus a cos theta value. Okay. See if I assume this value as q, the relation between these two equations is a square plus b square equals p square plus q square. Okay. Now if they are given this equation means a sin theta plus b cos theta equals to p and they ask you to find same a cos theta minus b sin theta value. See here this value is nothing but negative of this value only right. So, if this is q this is nothing but minus q right. So, if this is minus q or q we will get the same relation which is a square plus b square equals p square plus q square. Okay? Now, we have a similar relations for secant theta and uh, tan theta also see a secant theta minus b tan theta if they are given let us say for example, p and they ask you to find b secant theta minus a tan theta value. Okay? So, if I assume this value as q the relation between these two equations is a square minus b square equals p square minus q square. Okay? So, if they are given like this now a secant theta plus b tan theta value let us say for example, p and they, they ask you to find b secant theta plus a tan theta value. So, if I assume this as q I will get the same relation a square minus b square equals p square minus q square. Now, for the cosecant theta and cot theta. So, if they are given a cosecant theta minus b cot theta let us say for example, p and they ask you to find b cosecant theta minus a cot theta how much. So, if I assume this as q, I will get the same relation as this one only a square minus b square equals p square minus q square. Okay? So, if they are given a cosecant theta plus b cot theta value let us say p and they ask you to find b cosecant theta plus a cot theta value then also same relation a square minus b square equals p square minus q square. So, remember these relations. Okay? I think I already said in previous videos to remember x plus 1 whole cube formula and uh, x minus 1 whole cube formula I think. So, the formula here is x cube plus 3 x square plus 3 x plus 1 and the formula for x minus 1 whole cube is x cube minus 3 x square plus 3 x minus 1. See in the question they won't give directly uh, this value something so and so like say 8 and find the x value. No, they will just twist somewhat say like say for example, uh, for example the question x cube plus 12 x plus uh, 6 square plus 6 is 25 and uh, they ask you to find x square plus 6 x value. See first if you observe the equation here the degree of x 3, 2, 1 is decreasing. So, either you can convert this form in either x plus 1 whole cube or x plus a whole cube. Okay? See I can write this equation as x cube plus 3 times of let us say for example, 3 see sorry this is 12 x right I can write this 12 x as 3 x times 4 this 4 is nothing but 2 square right. So, now see this 6 x square 3 times x square times 2 plus 6 equals 25. See here a cube 3 3 a square b 3 a b square for I need to have b cube means if I assume that b value is 2 I need to have 8, but here I have 6. So, if I add 2 on both sides. So, I will get this as x plus 2 whole cube equals 27, 27 is nothing but 3 cube. So, I will get x plus 2 equals 3 I got x value as 1. So, if x value is 1, so I need to find x square plus 6 x which is 1 plus 6 over my answer is 7. Okay? I hope you understood all the concepts. So, if you found this video helpful, please do hit that like and subscribe button guys. All the best for your exam.